Hello and welcome to Ascended Stars. Welcome, welcome, Gemini. So excited to have you and newcomers. Much appreciate your energy. Let me pull this card before I forget. Uh, okay, so we're going to just get into it. And um, do your reading, my loves. So I've already selected the cards and chosen the cards for us to facilitate a faster process. And I have a new layout. So let's do it. 2021, here we go. First card up for Gemini. Eight of Swords. Wow, so you're stuck in your head. You're thinking a lot. We got a lot of cards that came out for you too. So the North, okay. North Node is in your sign for still another year, giving you downloads. This is mastery information, okay? You guys are to master. And um, yeah, okay, so let's do this. King of Cups reversed. <sighs> okay, so we have these two energies here. King of Cups reversed with the Eight of Swords. You're thinking and you're not feeling. <laughs> You're thinking, you're thinking, 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 and blocking your emotions, okay? For many of you is, is right off the bat. This is, um, you don't really want to pay attention to the, to the information that maybe the downloads, these swords, um, maybe you're thinking about the past a lot. You're, you're concerned with the past. The star, the star came out reversed. So this is about healing, uh, opening up your heart, healing and feeling. You gotta unpeel, feel and heal. There you go. Your reading's done. No, the uh, Prince of Pentacles. So here you are, not motivated to move, not motivated to make money, or. Or eight of pentacles. Tired of waiting. You're not going to wait anymore. Three of pentacles. Wow. And you don't want to work with others? That is so not like you. What's going on? You're just going to wait. Okay. So you know what? All right. I know. I know what's going on. One message that I'm getting for you guys is you're waiting for everything to get back to normal you're like you know what i'm just gonna wait it out i'm not happy in these emotions i'm i'm not i'm gonna hold off on my dreams i'm not gonna invest any time and energy quite yet because i'm tired of waiting and not working with others not being able to you know, you, I mean, literally working, like maybe your your bit place of business could be closed in your neighborhood and stuff. So you're just like going to wait it out. You're like, I'm just going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to think about how we're going to move. I'm going to wait it out. That's one message. We have some more uh, cards here. This is Mother Peace cards. Nine of Swords. You have anxiety, okay? This, the, you're, I don't think you're... Uh, modem of operandum is working very good for you right now because you are just stuck in your own thoughts in, in your own um, desire to do things your way four of wands this is the home this is about your house your heart your home taking control okay this is about taking control the emperor all right, are you taking control? It's time for you to take control. But no, Major Arcana, you're waiting. Major Arcana, you're choosing not to move towards your dream, 
towards this uh i think okay so another message i'm getting is many of you uh don't feel confident in going for your dreams okay and you're now falling you could be falling into depression and i feel like there's some emotional uh you, it's like I feel like some of you really want some attention okay you're yearning for attention let's do some clarifiers for the eight of swords oh yes the eight of swords needs attention let's look at this energy what's going on with the eight of swords for Gemini Please tell me. And there's a little bit of firecrackers out in the neighborhood still. So let's see. There is an excitement here. There's an energy that can't be contained. And that's the energy of thinking, thinking, thinking. It's a heavy burden. You're carrying a heavy burden here. It's become so uh, too much. It's become too much. Queen of Wands. It fell like this and I flipped it out like this, but it, it, you know, it could be that you just don't have the passion and desire to move forward in what you want to do in life, in, in general, in your, in your future. And you have to gather the courage and the strength to move forward. Who am I talking to? Oh, you feel left out in the cold. So here's a little bit of this Piscean energy of like, poor me, I'm stuck. Uh, I need somebody to come and help me. So there could be some codependence issues that you haven't really dealt with because uh, you're you're not feeling like you can do it on your own. We do have two people. Uh, this is interesting because in this deck, there's two people in the Eight of Swords. Typically, 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 Rider Waite and a lot of other decks only have one person and you have two. So this this is definitely confirming this codependence here. Okay, so there's this lack of desire to do it on your own. Okay, it's no fun to do it by myself and plan plan something for myself. Just me on this road, me and my shadow. Yeah, so um, you've gotten very melancholy and you're not... Uh, you've gone withdrawn. You've, you've withdrawn. You've withdrawn and you're not really visualizing something okay let's let's do this let's do this let's do clarifier on the the star energy well let, while we're here why don't we visit the king of cups reverse the star energy and uh why aren't you planning why aren't you planning the the knight of pentacles he, he moves slow and steady you want it fast and quick now? You want you want fast money. Oh shoot. You could be planning some stuff that is not legal, that is not really on the up and up. With that Prince of Pentacles reversed. Okay, let's look at the star energy first. Spirit. Ace of Cups. There's a new emotion you're denying yourself. There's a new ability to feel and to open up your heart and to, you know, really start. F I mean, it. I did feel this energy that you're not feeling or you're blocking your healing because you're there's a lack of feeling. OK, there's a lack of processing the emotions. You're at home. You have nothing better to do. No, I'm kidding. Um nine of swords you know you got anxiety from this this energy you got anxiety from this energy okay so ace of cups a new emotion is being blocked with uh nine of uh, prince of pentacles knight of pentacles prince of pentacles is the same thing temperance temperance and temperance divine timing trusting divine timing but you're really impatient here, okay? And you're thinking of, well, I should just do this. You're being a little bit rash, okay? That you're being a little bit impulsive at times. That you you lose it. You lose it. You lose hope. And you don't have faith. And you become rash and impulsive, okay? 
that is clarifying the knight of pentacles and impulsive for your money okay impulsive to to make money and to work with others this is a restriction because you you're not you're not able to work with others perhaps and you feel confined you feel yeah just confined you want to take control the emperor you want to you want you know you want to be fair there could be there's also a little faint energy for me that i feel that some of you are uh feeling like money's being taken away okay money money is slowly leaving you and you need to gain control of your finances I am also picking up that you might be a, an owner of a business and you have to um, really watch your employees, really watch them, really, this could, this also represents you might, might want having mistrust and putting cameras or um, just maybe working, maybe overly working, maybe overly, maybe you're stressed because you're overly working here. Only that for some of you, I feel like you're overly working and, and there's, a, there's a sense of mistrust. Okay, so you're waiting again, waiting seven of pentacles. You're not putting the energy into something that you love. You, you're not, okay. So, okay, so there is an energy here of a lack of creativity in the work that you do and not loving it it's like just going through the motions it's like a robotic um emotion it's like a robotic thing here like okay this is a very emotional man he's grown cold he's grown he's not being emotional he's being very rational very practical very grounded um no, 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 not grounded but I also pick up paranoid. I don't know why. So you're waiting for your money. You're not really having fun making your money, which is not good for you. Then you have the Hierophant and the Eight of Swords with the Eight of Swords. Okay, so here's the example of the Eight of Swords. It's only one person, okay? So you're stuck in some negative thoughts. So some of you are looping negative thoughts and... Uh, the whole foundation could be that you're really distraught about a connection that is bringing up new emotions or forcing you to feel forcing you to feel so you can dream of something good to come in the future but you're not really uh, open to it you're not you're you're too preoccupied there's a lot of pentacles here pentacle 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 um temperance twice Temper okay, so let me, what I got to tell you is you got to let go of something that you're refusing to let go because what is this Sagittarius energy? Sagittarius is in the south node. It's what we need to let go of, okay? Uh, it could be investing in money. I mean, investing money in long-term education. It could be tr uh, not being able to travel has got you really now depressed. Um, There's a spiritual lesson here that you have refused to open up your heart and and allow the healing and the angels want to help you last card knight of pentacles as a clarifier you know just here in this this whole this whole scheme of things here things are moving way too slow for you but i have good news aries has moved out of its shadow retrograde in the shadow so things are going to start pumping up and moving and going faster and you don't have to worry about that. So the only thing you have to worry is you healing yourself. Any uh, emotional baggage <clears throat> that you're holding on to is very obvious. Obviously putting a stop and halt on your progress. Okay. You're not seeing things in a good way where your dream can come true and maybe it's not an exact version of how you envisioned it but it is here delivered okay delivered to you but you're not you're not you're not uh, opening up your heart 
to see. There's a lot of emotion you've blocked as well. And you also have this sense of maybe feeling that if you could do it with somebody, meaning become successful, open a business, uh, open. A, I'm hearing open a credit card account. I don't know what it is, but um, you're you're definitely stuck here in your thought forms. Well, should we ask what that is? We could ask. One card, we'll ask. One card. The world card. This is the last card in the Arcanas. And it's the final cycle. And you're not moving through this final cycle. This Taurus got this earlier too. Refusing to move through ending a cycle. Um, they... Well, I don't want to talk about them. I want to talk about you. And basically with you, it's about you letting everything else go, okay? This this guy's resentful. He's holding a grudge. He really is. He's not... He's not... Okay, so I have him revert. He's reversed. He's looking at the past and holding a grudge. But when he goes to the upright, he becomes... He starts looking at the star, and if the star was upright, then everything's in order. He can follow his dream. He can follow his passion. He can remove himself. Sorry for the... He can remove himself from the emotional context of the past, okay? He's now healed. He's now made amends, and all this water, all the turbulent emotions that kept him up with full of anxiety, doubt, fear is uh removed is removed and and put with a calm collective uh, uh perspective to look at the future and not be so emotional about it not be so caught up with um what ifs and they owe me and you you, you know again the the taurus card got the taurus reading got this card and the flamingo, it just, it's about warming, warming up your heart. It's about, you know, being able to receive and give emotion, but they're reversed. And this is reversed. It's stopping you from having full expression. A beautiful energy is here for you. Okay. This has been slow coming. All right. But now you're healing. You got temperance twice now you're you're coming to a healing season and you will have an open heart you will open yourself up to a new dream come true and it could be commitment it could be long lasting commitment that is for real and you're just in a place of not or you have come from this place it, it depends because we do have the emperor some of you are going to take control of this opportunity and see it for what it is a blessing but some of you will remain in this energy of being stuck and not moving into this new cycle okay very clear for me because it just has there's a big fork at the road here for some of you and basically you have to start you have the north node in gemini that means you probably are starving and hungry for knowledge for answer you probably are hungry for answers all the time and if you're not feeding that hunger to know and to get what satisfied with the answers that you receive you will always be feeling caught up asking questions and the mystery and the great unknown so you must pursue for your answers okay where your calling goes where, where, wherever these answers pop up that's where your calling goes that's where you must follow it's different for every gemini okay but you are getting downloads massive information and it, th this could be so overwhelming. It's got your head 
you know, just like I'm going to burst open with my head. Just boom. It's like going to, it's just going to. So I get it. I get it because you're, you're really two polarities. That Gemini, that duality, you know, the light and shadow, the good twin, the bad twin. You know how that is. Let's look into this card for you. The, um, ooh, universal love, the gateway. The gateway is the in-between worlds you have yeah exactly the so this you have your polarities and you have to balance that off here in the middle you see in the middle is where the piece is at and so you can't have shadow without a light you can't have good without bad you know there's these dualities that you you have to balance in your life let's get you some angel guidance Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to do the surrender cards with you guys because you have that stuck energy. This is um, mixed with the past life cards as well. So you might get past life. You might get surrender cards. I mix them up. This is a huge deck. <laughs> We're too big for my hands. But, okay. Whoa. All right. We have two past life. Is it two or three? authority figure so this is about justice it's about legal matters it's about bringing balance to your life oh my goodness it's about forgiveness it's about forgiveness wow this energy is so strong okay this energy is so strong so oh my god okay so it's about authority figures and forgiveness I also think because of our, our, our situation in, in, in um, the world that you guys are so smart that you could see through the lies, you can see through the deceit, you can see through the falseness and leave it to a strong, you know, the, the universe spirit to have the north, no north node on your sign during these Aquarius times, you know, the, the new age of Aquarius, where you have to think outside the box. And it, it's, you know, some of you are taking control of, of this energy of like, okay, I, I'm going to succeed in whatever I want to do. And, and you see maybe the imbalances and injustices. My hair is, sorry about that. Um, you see the imbalances and the injustices here. And it this could be very disturbing emotionally disturbing to you uh and so that also could propel you to move for something that's you know grander and bigger than you a spiritual truth a spiritual reality or a uh a higher calling okay a higher calling and I think you're all some of you are just figuring out you guys are so smart okay you guys are so brilliantly smart yes that it's life is not going the way you want it you know there may be there's this thing about advocacy for the collective and for the people's be ha having you in the north node so there's this power there's this deeper power higher knowledge coming for you to you know it just takes one Gemini figuring out one code or something and then boom all this information gets to get gets to be spread out for others to hear and know about this is intense at reading so this is like more of the collective energy and for you personally it's uh an emotional purging of again we have a clean slate now ever since december 21st 2020 so much energy was purged uh we had an upgrade and we're moving into such a dynamic time that there's no place for you to bring certain energies into the new paradigm and those energies are heavy they're weigh, they weigh you down and and until you f learn to forgive and and understand that you can't bring that into this new dimension that we're living in currently uh forgiveness is the 
alternative to walk in through to this new new world and be being free being lighter okay heavy heavy this is why you got you know what this is why you got temperance twice okay temperance does represent the angels angelic help the angelic realm helping you supporting you so angels can't help you unless you ask for their help so you must learn to ask for help this could be a lack of knowing how to ask for help as well wow okay so there's a there's a big a lot of juicy stuff in your reading i went over my 22 where the last readings i've only gone 22 minutes so you're very special gemini you have a very special uh title right now there's a lot of aspects a heavy aspect eyes are on you okay eyes are on you and you gotta look you gotta show up <laughs> they can't be on you if you're not showing up so end that cycle and you know the spiritual lesson is heavy 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 but you will come out of it renewed renewed stronger and lighter much lighter and once you become lighter, you're clear thinking and you can tackle bigger things that are in store for you and take control. All right. Thank you for watching. All my uh, info is at the show box down below and uh, much love and light. Good luck. Good luck, Gemini. I'm rooting for you and wishing the best for you and um, much love and light. Take care. Bye-bye.